if you're thinking about getting into print on demand, or maybe you already have a shop and are looking to branch out into something other than just t-shirts or sweatshirts, let's chat about all over printing, specifically one of my favorite products, and that is blankets. As an Etsy seller with multiple print on demand shops, I can tell you that these are one of my favorite products to sell and design for. They can be used for more than just home decor. They can be marketed as great gifts. They can go for lots of niches like weddings, anniversaries. You can get super creative with how you design them and market them to target a specific audience for your niche. You just gotta get a little creative. For today's video, I want to show you how to design your own blanket using a seamless pattern method, which is one of the best ways to design on very large products like a blanket. Now, typically with seamless patterns or any patterns in general, oftentimes you start with a design that you drew yourself with an application like Procreate on the iPad. And that's actually how I got my original start with creating seamless patterns. I was creating my own designs by drawing them in Procreate, and then I would use the same program to turn that into a seamless pattern. Then I would need to export it to a different program in order to make the canvas image larger to accommodate a larger product like a blanket because if you're just creating a small image or a small design, that's not gonna work very well on a large blanket because the resolution will be wrong, it'll be fuzzy, it just won't work. So you have to be able to find a way to make that pattern or design much larger to fit a canvas of that size. So since I'm all about keeping things simple on this channel, I wanna show you how you can create your own seamless pattern for a large print-on-demand product like a blanket entirely in a very simple program called Canva. It requires zero drawing experience and zero additional skills in using more complicated products like Adobe. And then I'll show you how to take that new seamless design and convert it into an actual product using Printified's own website. You'll be a pattern making machine after this, so let's dive in. For this tutorial, we'll be using Canva for all of the design elements. Now, if you're not familiar with Canva, leave a note in the comments if you'd like to see a video from me on this, and I can put one together for this channel. What we're doing in Canva is we're starting with a 5,000 by 5,000 canvas. And all I've done for this one is just pull in multiple elements that I had available. So these are all individual. I can move them around wherever I want to, spread them out in a way that I like them, just as a starting place. Now I want to have them up against the edge in certain areas, at least on all four sides. And you'll see why once we go to create an actual seamless pattern. Once we've got all of the elements on there arranged, we're going to select all of them and then we are going to group them. And then we want to make sure that each of those elements fills up the entire 5,000 by 5,000 square from edge to edge. So you might need to ungroup and then regroup and play around with it a little bit until you've got it just right. Once we've got all of the elements grouped, we're going to move and slide that entire group up into one of the quadrants until we get kind of a plus sign that shows us all four square quadrants of the canvas. We're going to repeat that for each of the quadrants. So we'll copy and paste and move it up to the other one, copy and paste again, and copy and paste again. This is what creates the basis for your seamless pattern. At this point, sometimes things will look a little goofy depending on how each of the elements landed once you shifted them. And that's okay. At this point, you can rearrange as you need to, but important to note is you don't want to touch anything that is cut off on one of the edges. 
This is what makes a pattern seamless is by having those elements on the edge so that they connect when you actually go to make a pattern. So at this point, rearrange everything else however you'd like to, and this will be your final kind of foundation for that seamless pattern. It's okay if it takes you a few tries or if you need to move a few things around. Sometimes I need to add more if I've got a little too much white space that I don't want. But this is your opportunity to spread things out and create it however you'd like to so that it's ready for that final pattern. Once things are set in a way that you think they're ready, the next thing I do is I test it just right here in Canva. So I will go up and share and download this image and then we're going to add it back in. Just create a new page right below where you were and add in and upload that image that you just saved. And the trick to testing this as a seamless pattern is you'll create a pattern. You'll take the image that you just uploaded, shrink that, this time we're not moving, we're shrinking it so that it fits perfectly as a square in one quadrant. You'll notice that we work in quadrants when it comes to a seamless pattern. So we'll take that image, we'll shrink it into one of the quadrants, copy and paste three more times and repeat it until you have filled in all of the quadrants. If it looks like a seamless pattern, zoom in, check the edges, everything should line up perfectly. Once your pattern is good to go and you've checked it, make sure you've got that saved and exported and then we're ready to drop that into Printify to create our product with the pattern. Now comes the fun part. We're gonna head over to Printify and go to the blankets category. I have a preferred blanket that I like to use and that is the Velveteen Minky Blanket by Pick the Gift. So I always use that one. They have a ton of others to choose from. We're gonna start designing and then that will take us to the mock-up generator where we will create our pattern. Grab the design that you just created and saved and we're going to import that into Printify. It'll look a little weird at first and that's okay. Because this blanket option has multiple sizes, I'm going to select all of those first. You'll see that it will give me a warning on my resolution and it's now at medium. So we're going to shrink the design back down to the original size so that it's in the green resolution again. I usually try to get it close to center back on the design and then we're going to hit this create pattern button and turn that on. That my friends is when the magic happens. Because we've turned this into a seamless pattern already, as soon as we hit that pattern button, it looks perfect. Printify's system has done the work for us. If we are using a transparent design, you can actually change the background color. Because I exported this just as a standalone design, it's already got the white embedded in there, so I can't change it. But you can change the background color if you'd like to here or in the original Canva design. I usually do a quick check and make sure it looks okay on all the sizes. And then I also take a peek at the preview to make sure the design looks like what I expect it to. In this case, it does, and it looks exactly the way I want it to. Now, the cool thing about seamless patterns and using that method of design is that you can create all sorts of other products as well. Things like pillows and tote bags, even yoga mats. The sky's the limit and it's just another tool that you can have as you're working through your print on demand journey and if you want to branch out into other unique products. I hope this has inspired you to create some of your own unique products and designs with seamless patterns using Canva and Printify. If you've got any questions be sure to leave them in the comments. I try to get back to those. Also, make sure you've subscribed to this channel so you don't miss out on the latest videos, and I'll see you next time.